first thing is everybody sees the course is a little bit different to what most people expect. ISACA is a cyber organization, but it's on the management, finance and audit side of the house rather on the technology side of the house. So what you're going to engage with in CISA is you're going to learn how to audit. And that's not just an IT audit, it's general audit principles. The actual CISA program is ANSI accredited and counts in many countries as part of your chartered audit status. So what we're talking about is a hands-on intense audit course. I'm actually an auditor, I've been an auditor for many years. I have audited multiple organizations and I love delivering the CESA course because quite honestly, I learn as much from the people as they learn from me because we usually get some really interesting people on the CESA course that have audit experience or business experience or finance experience or IT. So it's a real mismatch of people and skills that come together to look to do your IT and cyber audit. Audit's all about measuring, but the question has to be, what is it we're going to measure? Now, most people will assume audit's going to be a tick box exercise. This is something we call a, a non-substantive audit. We in ISACA, we don't believe in non-substantive audit. We want a substantive audit, which means what we measure is not what you might think. What we measure is business objectives, and business strategic achievement. We try to link our audit results back to the very strategy of the business, the profitability, stakeholder and shareholder value that we can drive from any process. It's a very interesting mix between business and technology. There's only two ways to audit. You get the external consultants in, or you do it internally yourself. Audit for many organizations is a compliance requirement. That means it's not an option, it's something they have to do. And the traditional way is to go outside to your third party and bring them in. It's extremely expensive. What we like to do in an ISACA-driven audit process is make it cost-effective by taking your staff and giving them the skills that allow them to do 90% of the audit process themselves. What we're trying to do is reduce your external consultancy fee by up to 90% but still maintain your compliance. SACA's CISA accreditation, as I previously said, is this fantastic mix between business, accounts, audit and technology. And it doesn't matter what direction you approach it from. I'm just as happy to have an accountant than I am an auditor, than I am a technologist. But what it does is it opens the other doors for those people. If you're coming from an audit background, it opens the door into technology and business. If you're coming from an IT background, it's opening the door into audit and business and finance. So I really think it's a very interesting program and it gives people a great diverse range of future career choices. The difference between CISM and CISA, that's a great question. In actual fact, I always tell people that they're two sides of the one coin. On one side we get CISA, on the other side we get CISM. A CISA is auditing and measuring, but auditing and measuring what? That's CISM. CISM tells me what to do to pass the audit. CISA tells me how to audit to make sure the CISM's doing their job. They're not actually different. They're part of the same process one is measuring the effectiveness of the process, CISA, and the other one's actually implementing the process, CISM. CISMs and CISAs, I would say at least 80% of my delegates do both. Well, our CISA program is more than just an exam passing exercise. 
we really do try to fundamentally teach you how to be a proper substantive auditor using the ITAF guidelines. And that's what the exam is on. So I concentrate on real life and ITAF. And then when we're finished, we do additional exam prep and exam questions. So for every three hours of theory and learning, we do an hour and a half of exam questions, but it means we don't concentrate on it. The end of the exam, you still have two to three weeks work to do at the end of the course before you take the exam. And we provide a comprehensive electronic study pack and a study plan of how to get you past that exam. I'm quite proud of my work in the SACA with SISMs and CSIS. We don't want passes. We want to get you in the top 10, the top 5, or the top 1%. And my delegates in the UK and Ireland have consistently taken those positions for the last five years. There's a vast variety of auditing courses you can get but there's one from ISACA. ISACA was formed in 1969 as an audit organization. It's the only one that's ANSI accredited, and in many countries, it's actually part of your chartered audit status. So we're not talking about a Mickey Mouse operation. We have 165,000 members globally, and it truly is the international standard for audit. In many countries, you require a CISA to be an auditor.